Rasa Prakasha Sudhakara, Chapter 11, Verses 138-140 to 140. Shuddha Shankasya Churnam Hi, Sukshman Kritwa Prayatnata, Ardhabhagam Cha Dardam Churnayet Matiman Stata. Satya Sutavika Kshiram Tena Duktena Mardayet, Vartam Vidhaya Matiman Karpasa Stishu Swedayet, Swangashitam Samutarya Pravalam Ruchiram Bhavet. Having carefully ground purified conch shell into a fine powder, an intelligent person should then grind half the amount of cinnabar and quickly triturate it with the milk of a cow that has just calved. Having formed a bead, the intelligent person should steam it in a cottonseed decoction. After it has cooled down by itself and has been collected, it will be a bright coral. The recipe calls for four main ingredients, cinnabar, purified conch shell, milk and cottonseed, which we assume means cottonseed decoction. The text does not clarify what purified conch shell means, so we apply a simple purification procedure of boiling the conch in vinegar, a procedure known from Ayurvedic contexts.
Our recipe tells us to form a bead out of the paste and to steam it in a cottonseed decoction. Steaming usually involves some kind of pouch or container that is enveloped in cloth, with the whole bolus then hung into or over a boiling liquid, cottonseed decoction here. Our text does not give directions on a container, so we consulted another Rasa Shastra text, the Rasa Radnakara, the Nectar Mine of Mercury, a text that predates our main source. The Rasa Ratnakara has a similar recipe which also describes making a conch, cinnabar and milk paste. The recipe then specifies that the paste should be filled into a blade of straw or into a hollow bamboo stalk. We decided to go with the bamboo. 